It has been a while, and today we're bringing you an updated studio tour. This isn't actually the fully done studio. I want to show you where it's at right now and one of the upgrades we're doing today. So check this out. So today, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you a full current studio tour, obviously not fully done. So shout out to Felt Right. These panels come from them. This is not a sponsored video. They did not pay me at all for this, but they did send out these tiles for free. So just wanted to share that with you guys. And I'm excited for you to check them out because they have this awesome website where you can actually fully deck out and change up all the different pieces, shapes. You can get hexagons, you can get rectangled tiles, square tiles, and you get to play around with it in the studio and see what you want to design and build. You can even design pixelated characters like Mario or Spider-Man, and I've seen those and those are pretty awesome. But today we're gonna go classic. We're gonna do sort of like a brick styled wall, all black, Hello. and we're gonna try to treat the sound in this room a little bit more. All right, two down, 5,000 more to go. All right, so want to give you a quick update. So far I have laid probably 20 to 25 panels and it's definitely super easy, which I love about it. And we got the little felt sticky guys that are actually a little bit stronger. So they have two different versions and I recommend getting the stronger version, even if you're on just regular drywall. I just think it's safer, it's easier. And for me, I just think that this is looking awesome. And I'm excited to show you, check this out. Obviously not done, but I am laying it almost like brick. So these are technically called their ship lap panels, but I'm making it so that it's sort of like a brick pattern. And yes, of course it'll continue over. We'll create a big wall, but here's where we're at so far. So far it's super easy. And when you have an awesome wife helping you put all the little sticky guys on, makes your project go a lot faster and a little bit easier. Getting there. Almost done. Box number two, way bigger. These are all tiles. Should we add more to this wall too? Drop a comment below.
piece. I gotta say one of the things that I love most about this studio is the fact that I was able to help dampen some of the sound in here while also making my studio look even better. Look at this, doesn't this just look like a black brick wall? It looks so good and I'm so stoked about it because these are just felt tiles that help dampen the sound in here, just make it sound a little bit better. I just wanna give a shout out to Felt Right for making such an awesome product. Make sure you check out the link in the description below and I can't wait to see some of your designs. Make sure to tag me so I can check those out. I can't wait for you to see all the different sets in this room as I slowly design them and build them out and this one is definitely not done. I love, 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 love the Felt Right wall that I got going on over here. Keep it nice and simple. I might add a lamp right here. And then on this side, I love this metal pegboard as well because it's got this LED strip here and here on the inside that are RGB. I can fully change all the colors depending on the day, depending on the mood. I love having this plant right here. Might switch it out for a different one depending on the mood that I'm going for in the video. And I just am so excited to share the full studio tour with you. So you make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. So that's the door you come in from to the studio, and I'm gonna be straight with you right now. Someday I wanna turn that into a hidden bookcase door, but the bookcase is gonna be on the outside because there's a hallway that leads to my studio, and you haven't seen this yet before, but there's a switch right here. And when I flip this switch on, check this out. Come on, an on-air sign? That's one of the upgrades we already did, and that's awesome. But with this door, little bookcase hidden, props open. Oh, that's gonna be so awesome. Over here, I'm gonna be putting a sort of whiteboard thing, but one of those fancy glass ones. Okay, we're gonna go this way. This is a big long closet. It actually extends all the way to the end of this wall and all the way to the end of that wall. And there's a lot I can do. I'm gonna create a set here, probably put up all my eight long NAND light tubes. That's gonna be pretty sick and then maybe a desk setup in there, haven't decided yet. But got some plants, got a bare brick, got some storage in there for now. And then I'm thinking about doing the hanging Edison lights in there too, haven't decided yet. This is actually a 10 foot ceiling room, and it's about a 10 by 12 room, which is pretty cool. So you'll see I already have a hair light boomed out with one of those arms that can boom pretty far out. And then I have this really awesome CB2 white shelf, it's all metal. And currently, I am working on decorating it still. Super excited about those. One of my grails, if you know, you know. And if you didn't know, I'm a new dad. I have a baby boy who just turned one recently. And so you know, we're already starting his sneaker collection. I'll give you a sneak peek over here. My 85 Chicago's and Ezra's Chicago Lost and Founds. All right, let's continue. So I have a Sonos speaker right there. That's my ALEXA right now in this room. Some plants that I need to work on and I'm gonna decorate that shelf a little bit more. We're gonna put up lots of awesome artwork. Check this out. This is a single line DeLorean painting, drawing technically, along with the Nike mags. That's gonna be sweet. And tons of currently still boxed up pieces of art, frames, that we're gonna create a gallery wall with. All right, here we go. Ooh, almost tripped. And there's Lou. Hi, Lou. Okay, so over here, the whole point of this studio is to make every single angle like this, shootable for a set, like this, shootable for a set. We'll go over to the left later, but this will also be a set. Here's my famous pegboard wall that I built. And then yes, above it, you'll already see Another light mounted to the ceiling with an accordion arm. We have another arm that comes down, a cupo arm that has an extension, and this can come out down even further for an overhead rig shot. This will have a microphone attached to it, and you'll see that this bar, all these things can slide along the bar and across the entire room, which is pretty awesome. And then over here, I'll probably put up another light above there. Haven't done it yet. 
And this is not the final decoration. I just threw some stuff up to kind of show you what it could be like. And you'll see that I even have monitors and my speakers or studio monitors and a bunch of other things, electronic picture frame that I still have yet to put up and actually complete my desk setup. But this is gonna be an awesome set right here. All right, moving on this way. Another wall, this is a big blank wall and we're actually gonna be working on this today. We're gonna update it. We're gonna put some sound dampening panels on there and actually make them look good, which is exciting. So we're gonna create a whole nother set here. And then if you look above, <gasps> I love my paper backdrops and I do have more rolls in the garage, two more that I'm gonna add on. And then look at this, those are electronic motors for my paper backdrops. They're remote control now, and that's so awesome. Part of the idea with this wall, if I show you, is when I shoot into this corner, it's gonna have some decks, some frames, some artwork over here, and I think I'm gonna keep this part of the wall white. So it's like a white and wood setup, and I'm only gonna put panels up on this wall for half the wall, almost down the middle, so that when I come over here and shoot into this corner, it'll be sort of a black RGB kind of setup, and that's gonna be dope. And then when I shoot straight on, that's when I'll use the paper backdrops. And yes, here is one of my standing desks, and this is gonna be for the paper backdrop set, and I can even turn it and use it for this set over here, or flip it a whole 360 and use it for this set over here. This is gonna be a super modular, awesome studio, and it's taken me so long to post this even update video because it's nowhere near done because, you know, with a one-year-old and moving to a new house, there's just been so much work to do. And of course, I'm saving the studio for last and updating the rest of the house first. So here is the current desk setup. It is obviously not ready. There's no computers set up, no monitors, nothing. But here's the idea. That's a giant, tall metal pegboard, and I've posted light strips in the back that are RGB and color changing. And what I'm gonna do here is probably have some artwork pieces all along this wall going up also. And then my monitors here, keyboard, mouse setup there. I'm gonna probably change out the chair. We'll see. I kinda like it with the plant chair combo with the mint color right now. And then this, is what I'm pretty proud of. I posted an outlet there. I've hooked up an outlet here, and there's another outlet up in that corner too, so I have a bunch of options for mounting things to the wall and the ceiling. As you see right here, check this out, right by the door, look at this crazy. So this is the same thing as what's up there on the ceiling, but this time mounted vertically on the wall. Look at that. This light can accordion out further if I wanna use it for here on this set or use it further out here as a key light to light me here in the center of the room and use that as a hair light because that can also accordion that way. And then what's awesome that I'm proud of is attached to here, I've gripped on this extension arm that is gonna have a microphone. Currently this is one of the Rode NTGs. And then also right here, I can put on either an additional light, maybe even a bounce card and then over here, you'll see that there's another magic arm, tension arm, and this is where I can mount up a camera. Camera can be for the desk set, or I can even use it to shoot this way onto this wall. And there's just tons and tons of options, which gets me so excited about this studio because, again, check this out, it's only, I'm literally in the far corner right now, it's only a 10 by 12 foot studio with very exciting 10 foot high ceilings, but I'm utilizing it as best as I can. And yes, on the ground, big shaggy rug for Lou to lay on and chill on, but more specifically to help dampen some sound, along with this turquoise couch for a set that looks somewhat like this. And in here, just give you a quick peek. Let me bump up that ISO, give me a sec. I currently had this fake plant. I love Monsteras, and if you didn't know, recently just got a new tattoo that is of a Monstera plant. I'll show you that someday. But look, it goes all the way deep in there, all the way up. And this side, got some storage, all the way deep in there. 
and you tell me what you want to see because I've literally considered making a desk setup that is only two feet wide right here with a floating desk, monitor mon mounted to the wall, and just, oh, I feel like a hidden little desk setup in this nook would be awesome. And yeah, that's the studio right now.